Life Art Film Festival welcomes Mr. Ivan Spiliotopoulos at his house. What it takes to be one of the best scriptwriters in the film industry in Hollywood? Uh, a lot of hard work and a lot of luck. And a really good agent. There are lots of people that want to do what you're doing in the film industry. Well, I think Europe in general doesn't have uh, screenwriting schools. Like you could argue that England does because the theater world is so vibrant there. But um, we've got, in Europe there's the idea of the director, the auteur. And the directors traditionally write their own screenplays. And if they don't, it's you, they usually write them with a collaboration with a writer. So we don't have star screenwriters in our countries. And I think that's a problem because it, 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 um, it would cultivate stronger films, more interesting stories, if uh, screenwriters learned the art. How uh, hard was to make it in LA? I mean, you, you were born in Greece, yeah. you came here and study, and then you decided to stay. I, I gotta tell you, I was very hard. I mean, I moved here in LA in 95. Yes. I, I had the good fortune, straight off the bat, of getting a, a movie on the Sci-Fi Channel. Not a good one, very low budget, not a lot of money. And then I didn't work for six years. And it reached the point actually where I think I had something like $1,000 in my bank account and I was very seriously considering going back to Greece and getting to the tourist industry as like a guide or something like that. But um, just when things were the worst, I got hired by Disney. And it changed, year 2000, it changed everything. Because I was working steadily in the Disney animation department. I was, the, the steady job created a financial cushion for me but also I was learning my craft as if I was working a factory. And I mean that in the best way possible. Every day I was writing and every day I was working with other writers. So it trained me, it was a training process. Does a scriptwriter come close to the huge stars? It depends if, uh, what, how much of an involvement you have in the making of the film. For mm. instance, you always get invited. Uh, so I actually uh, hung out on the, uh, the Huntsman set and on the Beauty and the Beast set. Hercules, I was there for four months because um, Brett Ratner, the director, is such a co collaborative, inclusive, a guy that he wanted me there just for me to learn and every now and then to maybe throw out, hey, this is what I was thinking of from the writer's perspective. Yes. So on Hercules, I met everybody. How much are you inspired by Greek directors like Michael Kakoyanis or any other directors that you admire? Well, Michael Kakoyanis, I think the, the movie that will always eternally spring to mind with Kakoyanis is Zorba the Greek. And I have it here. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And I think it's also a film that brought a lot of Greek talent in terms of uh, behind the camera and in front of the camera, like Iron Papas, first and foremost, and Nikos Houdas, uh, to international audiences. And um, that is a story that is so distinctively Greek, and yet, thanks to the Ellen Bates character, uh, helps bridge uh, Greek culture with international culture. Um, it brought a lot of attention to Greece. Of course, it has the timeless performance by Anthony Quinn, but uh, Kakoyanis is the director that I had, uh, I mean, I just adore. It is a great honor for me to be speaking to Life Art Film Festival, and by all means, send in your submissions. It's lifeartfilmfestival.com. <laughs>